you know, it, it, it was um, probably a bit of a longer learning curve for, for Richard when he when he did start working, and um, and so that did require a lot of patience on everyone's part. And um, and now he's turned out to be one of the best workers in, in where he works. When a person starts a new job, the first few days are often critical and have long-lasting effects on that person's overall job satisfaction and performance. Many employers have designed orientation processes that ensure new employees are able to learn their roles within the company and to make connections with their new teams. During the orientation process, it is important that employers recognize and implement the three key elements of employing persons with autism. Flexibility, contextual learning, which can be described as learning the job in the actual job environment, and seamless supports or engaging other people in the employee's life in the process of making the employment experience successful. Our new employees, we now do centralized um, orientation. The individuals that are hired um, with autism, we do um, one-on-ones. Um, we don't bring them into the office setting where there's a large amount of people. This way we can conversate with them and make sure that they understand what it is that we're trying to explain to them. But that might be the best way is to work them through the orientation more one-on-one. -on -one. You could check for understanding, ask questions about comprehension, just to make sure that they're getting each level so we're not uh, making some assumptions and moving forward without them understanding. The other thing you could do is some pre-teaching. So you might be able to go through some of the concepts, fill in some of the gaps, and then allow that individual to go through the orientation if there's some reason to do that. Building peer relationships, having them feel a part of the, the community of, of new employees, that might be important. Building in opportunities to have exercises throughout the modules, um, not so much lecture based because it's something that really, you know, there's not a lot of value in that you can lose people quickly, um, disability or not. I think as far as, as orientation goes, at, at least the way that it's, it's been most effective for me is that everyone is, is treated equally and, and everyone um, their needs are addressed in the same way. If a person needs a little bit more, then I think the proper time to do that would, it would probably be on the job site or in, in the environment where they're, they're going to be working. Me personally, um, I feel it's my job to make sure that they're brought into a situation, trained properly, and making sure that the follow-up is happening through myself then perhaps if there's something else that they're trying to do, if there's a person that the individual has a good communication level with and they feel confident in, then I think that would be a time to bring somebody else. If there's anything that we need outside of what we are capable of, then the uh, job coach pretty much helps get us through. Everybody is, is, is different and diversity is very important in, in our business. and. Um, so there are accommodations that we make for everyone and um, the goal for those accommodations is to put together the best and most effective team we can.